the egg breaking champion. Let's find out how Rinku wins the egg breaking competition with the help of her father's secret mantra. On the day of the fair, Rinku's mother asked her, Rinku, are you going to the fair in the evening? Yes, mother, I am definitely going. This fair is held only once a year in the village. I will not miss it for anything. This year, they are planning something special at the fair. Rinku's mother added, Like last year, the fair will include shows, films, singing troops, etc. However, in addition, they will have folk songs and shadow puppets. Even though the fair runs for three days, we will not have enough time to see everything because there are so many events that have been planned. By the way, what are you doing over there? I am boiling an egg, replied Rinku. Hmm, why are you boiling an egg? You have just finished having your breakfast. I am boiling an egg for the egg breaking contest at the fair. I will take it along in the evening when I go there. Rinku was very excited about the fair and the contest. Every year during the fair, elders from the nearby towns dressed up in their best clothes and jewelry would come to the common grounds where the fair was held. The children were not so interested in playing dressing up as much as playing the egg-breaking game. The children would bring their own duck and hen eggs or they would buy them at the fair for playing the game. The game was very simple. Two contestants would stand before each other. They would take one egg each and hit them against each other. Generally, one egg would crack and the other would stay whole. The one with the whole egg would take the cracked egg from the loser as a prize. Sometimes both the eggs would crack. In such a case, the match would be declared a draw and each contestant would get to keep his or her egg. It was getting dark, so Rinku carefully put her hard-boiled egg into her pocket and started walking towards the fair. On the way, she was joined by Rashmi, Neetu and Ali. All four reached the fairground and they started walking around enjoying the sights, sounds and the bustle around them. They saw folk dancers performing Bhagra on one side. On the other side, they saw someone performing Kathak. And still somewhere else, they saw girls dancing the Garba. This was very exciting for the four friends. After watching the various dances, the friends moved on towards the shadow puppet play. Then, they quickly hurried to the stall selling hard-boiled eggs. This was the main destination that they had in their minds when they had started from their homes. The stall was overcrowded. Everybody wanted to buy the eggs, but they were not hungry. They were buying the eggs for playing the egg-breaking game. Come on, let us get the game started, 
said Rashmi. How much do I have to pay for an egg? Ali asked the owner. Rupees five for one egg. The owner answered. The friends started examining the shells of the eggs for hardness and thickness. Each of the friends, except Rinku, because she already had a hard-boiled egg in her pocket, purchased an egg each, the egg that looked the best to them. I have to test my egg," said Neetu. "Who will become the bottom egg?" "I will," said Rinku, taking out the egg from her pocket. Neetu grasped the egg firmly and threw it down against the egg held by Rinku. There was a sharp noise of an egg cracking. All the friends gathered to examine the eggs. They saw that Rinku's egg was broken. "Yehehe!" shouted Neetu, dancing with joy. She was the winner. So she took Rinku's egg as her winning. Turning round, Neetu announced, "So." Who wants to challenge me next? I will," shouted Ali, holding up the egg selected by him. Take a good look at this egg. This is a mighty egg, which will win the rounds. Stop talking. Start playing. We will see," said Neetu. This time, she decided to become the target. She held her egg in her hand, and Ali threw his egg at it. This time, Neetu's egg broke. See, I told you this is a mighty egg," said Ali with excitement. "Anyone here wants to try their luck with me?" Rinku's friends kept on purchasing more eggs. And playing for some time, each of them accumulated a lot of broken eggs. Finally, they gathered all the broken eggs and went to the food stall. At the food stall, they bought some rice and curry. They added the broken eggs to the curry, and they enjoyed a great meal. After having dinner, the friends started back towards their home. On the way, they decided to bring more eggs back to the fair the next day for the next round of the game. The following day in the afternoon, Rinku's father saw her doing something and asked her, "What are you doing?" "I am boiling eggs for the egg-breaking game in the evening." Her father. Became nostalgic about his own childhood when he used to play the egg-breaking game himself. He wanted Rinku to win this game, so he. What are your chances of winning today? I am not sure, father. I lost my egg yesterday. Do you want to know the secret of winning these games? Asked her father. Is there a secret to it? Please tell me," said Rinku excitedly. "I used to play this game during my childhood at every gathering. It was fun because we used to challenge children from the other villages to the game. On certain occasions, I would win as many as dozen of eggs." In a single evening. Wow! How did you manage that? The secret is to boil the eggs for as long as you can. The shell will then become as hard as a rock. 
the eggs boiled in such a way cannot be eaten, but they will not break. Take my advice, and you will become the egg-breaking champion of the village. That evening, Ali and the others could see the excitement on Rinku's face. Rinku approached Neetu for a challenge and said, I am ready for a rematch. Bring out your egg. Sure, ma'am. Let us see your performance today. Answered Neetu somewhat mockingly. With this challenge, the games began. Rinku's egg was the bottom egg. Neetu threw her egg at Rinku's egg. There was a loud noise. Rinku was smiling. Neetu's egg had cracked. Rinku won the game. Who will challenge me next? Rinku asked boldly, smiling all the while. She knew that she was going to win every challenge. Me, said Rashmi, taking an egg out of her pocket. This time, Rashmi's egg was at the bottom. Needless to say, Rinku won again. The game continued for some time. Rinku won, one game after another. Finally, the friends decided to challenge the children from other villages. Hi, sister. Would you like to try your luck at the game with me? Rinku asked an older girl from a nearby village. Rinku's egg was at the bottom. The other girl threw her egg at Rinku's egg. There was a loud noise. To the disappointment of her friends, Rinku's egg cracked. Rinku was close to tears, but then she looked at the other girl's egg. It was also cracked. Both the eggs were cracked and the match was a draw. Rinku, with her secret, became the egg-breaking champion of the fair.